Hey, here we are at Courtney Stevens' book release party for Lies About the Truth, and I'm so excited to read this book uh, because her other book is amazing, and Courtney's just a fantastic person. There's a lot of really cool people here, and, uh, and they're all excited to celebrate with Courtney her great book. And I'm so excited for you, Courtney. You're amazing. You're such an inspiration, and we're so glad to be here and celebrate your amazing work. And like, how do you make a community? One person at a time. And I've been so, so incredibly blessed to have these years as an author um, and be here with my family and also be here with you guys. You know, one person at a time, the world feels less lonely. And um, so much of writing happens when you're kind of by yourself and then so much of being an author feels like it happens in like crowded space. And I'm so incredibly thankful for this crowded space here. It feels kind of sacred, um, which is something that's kind of important to me. Um, if you read um, me, you'll know that I kind of pick like an image um, to, to kind of run with for the book. And so like the image to me in Faking Normal is a treehouse. Um, and the image for The Lies About Truth uh, is a salvage yard. And I love that imagery in particular because I think we've all been through these moments that it feels like maybe they just can't be redeemed. And yet I don't think that's true. I think that the cool thing about like a car salvage art, it's where cars go to die, right? No, it's where cars go to get repurposed so other people can drive away. And um, I like to think that like the words that I write um, are kind of like that because people are going to pull pieces of them and think, oh, I need that piece, or oh, I need that piece, and maybe the whole thing isn't for you, but maybe one piece of it is. Um, and if I can put a little hope like that in the world, my heart will be satisfied. Big is a character in the book, and he is the stuffed animal that this group of friends won at an arcade um, while spending lots and lots of money on ski ball tickets, basically. Um, they picked the ugliest thing available uh, to win, and this is what they ended up with. Um, and then, of course, um, once they'd spent like $100 on ski ball, um, this little ostrich had a hole in him. And, um, and so the mom in the book says, you know, like is teasing them about having this hole and that it's kind of useless. And so the main character decides to salvage him. And she pulls out all the stuffing, and for all of her life, since she's had this bird, she has been stuffing him. Um, with secrets and truths and things she really wants to say. And so, tonight, this is your opportunity <laughs> to write something down and, um, and put it in big. Now, here's the deal with confession. I think it's incredibly powerful, but it, don't like, this is not this one time I murdered my brother. <laughs> Please don't put that in big. <laughs> um, I, I would love I would love to make tonight about something you want and something that you hope for your life. I mean, there's lots of different ways to confess and put something in big, but for tonight's purposes, because I'm currently living a dream, I would invite you um, to take a first step on some dream um, that scares you, that you're excited about, that you maybe haven't told anybody about, but it's that what if that's kind of spinning in the back of your head. Let's take what if to actuality. I will be taking him home with me, but you can take him home with you too. Because Big is also an app um, that I built for this. And hang on, I will show you, of course you can see from here. Um, but it's called Big T, and you'll recognize him. You saw him here. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you put in, in the Android market or in iTunes, if you just put in Courtney Stevens, no C on this, it will be the first thing that comes up. And you, it is an anonymous, a completely anonymous confessional, so you can continue this practice of saying things that might matter to you. Okay. Okay. Here I am with David Arnold, and we're at uh, Courtney Stevens' book release party. And uh, David Arnold is the amazing author of Mosquito Land, and I'm really excited to be standing next to him. But uh, this is about Courtney, so uh, I wanted uh, you to tell us a little bit about uh, what Courtney means to you. Yeah. Uh, Courtney is one of the most generous spirits I've ever met in my life. 
She's one of my best friends and um, an incredible writer, an incredible person. I've often compared her to Yoda. I think it's um, probably a more apt comparison to say she's like Yoda mixed with Samwise Gamgee, mixed with Cedric Diggory because she's brave, wise, and loyal. Um, I owe a lot to her, uh, but I, her generous spirit is just a complete role. She's such a role model for me. Um, and I'm super proud of her, and I'm excited to be here right now today with her. And I know a lot of there are a lot of writers here who owe um, – the inspiration for what they do as well as whatever successes any of us have ever had um a lot of that we owe to courtney stevens so we love courtney and we're super excited to be here right now for her all right thank you so much thank you um i think that honestly like as you can probably tell by the massive crowd here there's no one that's not impacted by courtney that's like there's true. nobody that's not impacted by courtney she's one of the warmest most loving caring um generous people in our book community absolutely thank you yeah, so much of course here I am with Liz, and uh, she's one of our founding board members for SIA, and she's going to tell me uh, why she thinks Courtney is so special. Courtney is so very special because of her heart. She has a love for the students that she writes for. Um, I've never met anyone who truly, deep down, loves my kids as much as I do. And uh, she, she loves them before she even met, met them. And it, it comes out in her writing and her books. You can tell that she, her heart is, is for teens and uh, that she's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. You. Here I am with Erin and she is one of our founding board members for SIA. Would you mind telling me why you think Courtney is so special? Absolutely, with pleasure. Courtney is so special because she really gives everything that she has, her heart and soul, to her readers and to her fan base and to all of her friends and people who surround her. I've never met a person more genuine, more enthused for young adults and to help them writing things that they can relate to and writing things that create a new space within themselves and a new way of thinking about things. She's just one of a kind. She's a phenomenal woman and I hope to read many more things from her in the future. Here I am with Sharon Cameron. And uh, Sharon, why do you think Courtney is so special? Courtney is so special because she's so Courtney. That's, that sums it up, doesn't it? It sums it up completely. <laughs> Love you, Courtney. Here I am with Ruta Sepetis, uh, author of um, Out of the Easy and uh, Between Shades of Grey, which are wonderful, and I'm really excited to be next to you. Sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> but t tonight we're here about Courtney. Yes, so it's all about Courtney. Yes. Will you tell me why you think Courtney's so special? Oh my gosh, where do I start? Why is Courtney so special? Um, Courtney is special to me as a, as a friend, as a writer, as a mentor. Um, she is one of my inspirations. Courtney is the one who taught me that although writing is perceived as a solitary endeavor, that writing is really a team sport. And when you work with other people, it not only makes the book better, it makes life better. And I'm so grateful to be part of Courtney's team. Um, I'm so lucky. And so I really, I celebrate not only this book, but, but Courtney as a writer and as a human being. I love you, Courtney. <laughs> Absolutely, thank you so very much. And it's thank a thrill you. to meet you. Oh. Courtney, I love you, you know that. Thank you so much for letting me be just a teeny little part of living your dream. I just love doing it. I'm excited for you all the time. Pray for you all the time. Love you. Thank you so much, Ms. Stevens. <laughs> it's not every day that you get to meet the grandmother of one of your favorite authors, but here she is. Will you tell us why you're so proud of your granddaughter, Courtney? Well, there are so many reasons all of her life that she has done that I couldn't possibly mention any. But what is so funny, when we were all at the beach, they accused me of running up and down the beach telling everybody about Courtney's book that was coming out. <laughs> well, it's well de deserved. She's a wonderful author. Yes. So nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you. I made it. I didn't cry. <laughs>